Hello beautiful people and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on some Garnier Curl Products Plus a random mask. <laughs> also yes, I am wearing a robe. <laughs> I just got out of the shower. Don't judge me. I'm not putting real clothes on today. I'm just, I'm just not. So my last curly hair product first impression kind of video was the Hask Curl Care line. And I was just saying how affordable it is, how amazing, right? I got all three of these products for $11. I could do my entire routine with these three products and it was $11. That's typically the cost of one drugstore like mousse or anything like that. They're really, they're normally around like $9, $10. So even the Hask was, I think $8 for the mousse and $8 for the gel. And I got them from Target. So I feel like if you went to like Walmart or something, you could probably get them cheaper. I will say as I was looking at the ingredients of these products, they're not necessarily Curly Girl friendly. And I don't strictly follow the Curly Girl method, but um, some of the things that they exclude, I also like to exclude. But with how affordable these products are, I literally was just looking it up and you can get this for $3 on Amazon. I feel like if they work well and then you just take care of your hair in other ways, like if there's a silicone, making sure that you're clarifying regularly to just make sure you're getting that out of your hair. And then also any drying alcohols that could be in here, um, just kind of counteracting that with conditioning masks. Because if you are on a budget and you need products that are around this price range, um, it'll probably be pretty hard to find them completely perfect. I think there's workarounds for some of the ingredients. I'm not necessarily like jumping for joy about, you know, but I feel like if you're just generally taking care of your hair and a product you're using has a drying alcohol or a silicone in it, and you're just making sure that you clarify your hair so you don't get any buildup and that you're moisturizing your hair. So you're kind of counteracting that drying alcohol. I think it absolutely could work. So our other ingredients better for your hair, of course. But if this ends up making your hair look how you want and this is the budget that you need to stay in, I think you can definitely make it work. You don't have to be super, super strict with yourself when it comes to the ingredients. You need to be careful and keep it in mind. I don't think that it's like, okay, I'm never gonna use this product now because it has those things, you know what I mean? So um, I will mention what they are as we go per product, but I just wanted to get that out of the way in the beginning. So we're gonna start with the first product. This is the Garnier Fructis Nourishing Treat One Minute Hair Mask, and this is the coconut, that looks like coconut, I think papaya one as well. Is that what it is? I don't know, but it smells like a pina colada. It smells amazing. I just use it in the shower. So they said you can use this as a mask and you only have to leave in for one minute, but I probably would leave it in for longer than that if it were me. Um, you can use it as a conditioner, just how you normally apply your conditioner. And you can also use it as a leave-in, but I feel like if you have hair like mine, it's a little bit finer, I would not use this as a leave-in because it is a little thicker, let me show you. This is great though because it has no sulfates, no silicones, and even on the side it shows you exactly where they pulled every single ingredient. And they're all from an actual coconut or shea nut, olive, soybean, sunflower, rosemary plant, avocado, grape, like they show you exactly where they got everything and this is a very clean product which is nice. There's no silicones in this, nothing. And this mask is only I think five to six dollars and it's giant. That is amazing and it's very clean so that's a really great benefit to have at a price range like this. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, so here's kind of what it looks like. It's pretty thick. Um, it does have a little bit of movement to it, but it's pretty thick. It's kind of a jelly-like consistency, so I wouldn't use as a leave-in for my hair just because I feel like it would weigh it down way too much. But I really did like it so far as a conditioner. It felt so hydrating in my hair, and there was a lot of slip to it. So I was able to detangle really easily, um, and I got that like seaweed kind of texture to my hair. I just used it in place of my normal conditioner, and my hair feels great. It feels really soft and smooth. Um, it smells amazing again, so I'm really liking it so far, and my hair just feels really like hydrated and ready for product. So that's my thoughts on this so far. Now we're gonna move on to the styling products, but first I'm going to rewet my hair a tiny bit because it has been drying a little bit as I've been talking. All right, so I wet my hair with my spray bottle from Amazon. That thing is a lifesaver. You definitely need it if you have curly hair. I think it was literally a couple bucks off Amazon and I use it every day. So anyway, the first styling product we're going to go in with is Curl Sculpt Conditioning Cream Gel, which I thought was really cool. I was really intrigued by that when I saw it. Your curls, everything they crave with Curl Sculpt Conditioning Cream Gel, uniquely formulated to give the controlled definition of a gel with the soft, subtle conditioning of a cream. So they literally are claiming that this is a mixture of a cream and a gel 
just put together, which I think is really cool. So this could be like a one step sort of a product. For me, it's probably not going to be. Um, I just know my hair, it probably wouldn't be. But if you're normally just going in with a cream anyway, I feel like this would be really cool because it has the added hold of a gel, supposedly. I haven't tried it yet. So if you're used to using just a cream, I think this would be cool as a one-step product. It's such a cool product, I never heard of that. I know some people literally just mix all their products in their hand and apply it as one product. Um, but I definitely prefer like layering them on. I'm gonna put the price of all the products on the screen as I'm going because I can't think of them off the top of my head. However, this product does have dimethicone, which is a non-water soluble silicone. If it's a water soluble silicone, you can just wash it out with your normal shampoo. But for one something like this, you're gonna have to use a clarifying shampoo to sort of get it all out. I usually use a clarifying shampoo like once a month, sometimes more if my hair is feeling like it needs it and it has a lot of buildup on it. So this product smells exactly like what you would picture a Garnier product to smell like. I feel like every Garnier product I've ever tried smells like this and I don't even know how to describe it. It just smells like Garnier. I don't know, it's like sweet and fruity. It's a little bit of floral. I don't really know how to describe it but if you've tried Garnier products you know exactly what I'm talking about right now. So it does feel like exactly what you would imagine a cream and gel to feel like if you mix them together. This also feels like it has a really nice slip to it as well, like it's gliding straight through my hair. If you hear that, the dog is digging on my bed trying to get comfortable. <laughs> so the cream is in my hair and it feels really nice and smooth and like hydrated. It has like a very like slippy feeling to it. Oh, so next we're going in with the Curl Construct Creation Mousse. So this product has alcohol and it does have water soluble silicones, which don't bother me. Um, but there is alcohol in this. However, I do spray my hair with hairspray almost every single time I do my hair and There's definitely alcohol in that so my hair is still pretty healthy. Let's see what this looks like Okay, so oh wow, did you see that just lifting off my hands? <laughs> so this definitely is a very like Almost feels like a cloud how I would imagine a cloud to feel um, it's definitely not very thin, but it's not a super thick mousse. I've tried some mousses that are like ridiculously thick. So this is like a middle of the road kind of product. Again, it just smells like a Garnier product. <laughs> they all have like the same smell to me. This one does smell a little bit more like floral though. The product is applied in my hair, both of them, and it is looking a bit stringy. Um, so I'm just gonna start scrunching and we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> All right, well, this is gonna be boring for you to watch, so I'm gonna finish styling and drying my hair and I will be back to show you the next product, which we have to use once my hair is dry. Hello, everyone. So I am back and I look drastically different. It's a lot later than I planned on filming this part of the video. I had to watch a movie for my film class and write about it. Um, it was called Cinema Paradiso. And if my makeup is gone, it's because I cried so many times so hard during that movie it is so good it's a older movie and it's in Italian um, but it has English subtitles so it's it was fine but oh my gosh it was so good it's on Amazon you need to rent it and watch it but anyway so that is why it is so much later and I'm wearing a hoodie and my makeup is probably real jacked up at first it was looking pretty stringy um, but now that I've given it time to sort of settle, I definitely have a lot of like really nice clumps. It's gonna be hard for me to like pick them out in the camera because I can't really see very well. It's a very bright light in my face right now. I actually haven't even scrunched out the cast yet. I mean, I'm sure most of it has come out at this point because I've had my hair styled for like probably four hours if I'm being honest but I still am going to scrunch out the crunch because there definitely still is one that is one thing to note this doesn't give you a super hard crunchy cast I actually found myself while I was diffusing I actually found myself having to like halfway through go in with a little bit more mousse um, just to get a little bit more of a cast with their product so if that's something you prefer that is something to know it definitely doesn't get super super crunchy but again I prefer the cast just because I think that once you scrunch it out, it ends up giving you a lot more hold when you start with one and scrunch it out rather than not having one at all. And it also protects your hair throughout the diffusing process from getting too frizzy. I've actually tried this, spoiler alert. I really like it so far. This is the Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum with Argan Oil from Morocco. So, and it has a strength system, I guess. But again, this does have non-water-soluble silicones, so something you're absolutely opposed to 
run the other way. So I used this to refresh my hair and it really, really, really smoothed out um, some of the curls that were having a little bit of frizz or that were sort of not wanting to clump together anymore. I just grabbed a tiny bit of this in my finger. I would just glaze over whatever curl was looking a little frizzy and then I would sort of spin it and it would completely like clump it back together and make it so smooth and shiny. Um, that's probably from the silicone if I'm being honest with you, but it works. So it also has argan oil and I love argan oil. It could also be a lot of it. This smells like a Jolly Rancher almost to me. Um, yeah, it smells like a watermelon, like sour candy of some sort. It smells really nice to me, but uh, I'm just gonna show you actually what I was talking about. Obviously this is first day hair, so it's not very frizzy, but this is what I was doing. So I would just have some on my fingertips and then I would glaze over it and then go like that. And you can see it just looks so much more uniform and bouncy and shiny um but anyway so what i'm gonna do though is i am going to scrunch out the crunch in my hair if i was using this like every single day i would absolutely make sure that i'm clarifying my hair very frequently just to make sure that i'm not causing any excess buildup to happen you know what i mean this is my hair after scrunching out the crunch i think it looks really nice as it settled i think everything has clumped together really really well it is super voluminous like I have a lot of volume right now my hair looks huge but not in like a I don't know not in like a super frizzy way but in a really defined way I'm like really really impressed and my hair feels like it's gonna have really good hold it's just it's just that feeling that your hair has where you're like okay this will last me a couple days I don't have to worry about it sometimes products are so light on my hair that I just feel so anxious all the time because I'm like, oh, I don't want it to touch anything or, oh, when I lay down, I have to be careful or, oh, I don't want it to lean on my chair or anything because it's going to get messed up. This almost makes me feel like I can just not think about it and it's just going to be fine. I'm going to show you the back really quick and then I'm going to bed because it's late. <laughs> so I will see you in the next clip after you see the back of my hair. All right, it's been a long time since we've talked about these products, but I'm going to give you a roundup, final thoughts on these products. I've been trying them for a while now. So I think I have some well-rounded thoughts on them and I'm gonna try and do speed round really quick. This product is the mask. I really, really like it. It's really clean. It makes your hair so hydrated, but it doesn't take you all the way where you feel like your hair is really limp and over moisturized, which I definitely have a problem with. So this is really nice. I've used it as a normal conditioner just in place of my conditioner. I've also used it as an actual mask. I like it both ways. And it's definitely my favorite mask that I've tried from the drugstore for like moisturizing the hair. So it's really clean, smells amazing, it's really hydrating, and it's really inexpensive. Like I don't think you could ask for anything better than that. So I definitely recommend that you try this mask out. I was very, very impressed by it. Next up is the cream gel. This stuff is so freaking cool. I'm already, I'm all the way down here already. So Definitely been using it quite a lot. I tried this product on its own and I was so shocked. Anytime I just use a cream, it's not really like the best for my hair particularly, but I was like, you know, I have to try it at least once to see if it's like really a cream gel hybrid type product. So I got out of the shower, I raked it and I did the praying hands with it and then I scrunched it in and then I washed Harry Potter with my sister and I let it air dry. I let it air dry with just a cream in and on the screen, I will show you how it looked. I was so blown away by how amazing it looked with just this one product. It literally took me under two minutes to do my hair. But do I think this would last like three days with just this product? No, but honestly, I feel like if I would have just thrown some hairspray on top, it probably would have. So if you're the kind of person that just uses creams and that works for you, I think you should definitely check this out. However, it is not a very moisturizing product, so I would still recommend like spraying in a leave-in conditioner or something like that, but I always do that anyway, so. So yeah, really, really cool and unique product. I was really impressed by it. Next! <gasps> It. this is a curl construct creation mousse it says it has extra strong hold which i would not agree with but i'm the kind of person that it's like 
max level hold on everything. That's just what I prefer for my hair. Um, but I will say that this was very, very, very volumizing in my hair. So for me personally, I would still apply like a gel or a hairspray on top of this, but it's so good for volume. So yeah, I just think it's a really good standard mousse. It does what you would want a mousse to do. Um, it doesn't have as much hold as like the Not Your Mother's mousse, which is my favorite. It's inexpensive, adds a bunch of volume, and it does have a decent level of hold. I think you definitely could wear it on its own. Again, this is not a moisturizing product though, so I would recommend using a moisturizing cream or a leave-in spray just to kind of keep your hair balanced. And the last product is the Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. This is definitely the one I've been using the most, and it's also so my favorite one out of all of them. It's so, so nice because this does not make your hair feel greasy at all. It's thick enough to where it kind of seals the hair really nicely, but it does, it's, it's like it just dissolves into the hair and you don't feel it anymore. Like I use so much of this and it doesn't weigh my hair down. I haven't noticed like excess buildup. I mean, again, this does have silicone, but I clarify pretty regularly anyway, so it doesn't really affect me too much. So I use it to scrunch out the crunch on wash day, and I also use it um, to refresh like every day. Any curls that have a little bit of frizz on them, I will just run it over, and it's so nice. It just really sleeks it out. I've tried some oils that are really thin, which is nice because it's not going to weigh your hair down, but it's not as good at like really sealing the hair back. Yeah, this is like the perfect texture and it doesn't, it doesn't make you feel greasy or oily or you know, n none of that. So those are my final thoughts on the Garnier products plus that mask that I don't have a hand to hold right now. Overall, I'm really, really impressed by these. And I wanted to mention too, I don't think they're good just because they're inexpensive. Like it's like, oh, well they're inexpensive. So it's good for the price range. No, I think these are like just generally good products. So whether you were looking for like an inexpensive option for your curly hair, you weren't and you just want to try some good products and these sound like you would like them, I definitely recommend that you check them out. I hope this video was helpful to you in some way. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, comment down below a green heart emoji or a purple heart emoji so that I know you made it all the way to the end. If there's any other products that you would like me to review or if you've tried these products, let me know how you feel about them in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like and also follow me on my Instagram. Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on my YouTube. All of them will be on the screen right now. So yeah, guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I love you so much, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!